John Logie Baird, one of the pioneers of TV, was a man with a vision. But the early television he developed was an extraordinary system of wheels and cogs, unlike anything we see today. Scott's inventor, John Logie Baird, was experimenting day and night in the mysteries of transmitting moving images by wire or wireless. But the images produced were a far cry from our modern pictures made up of 625 lines. From a contraption made of a hat box, an old tea chest and some bicycle parts, Baird made up a TV picture of just 30 lines. It's better than any song. But despite the technical limitations, Baird went further. Not a lot of people know, he also invented the world's first video recorder, which he called Phonovision. There was no videotape, so remarkably he found a way of recording pictures onto 78 RPM records. It's amazing to think that these discs contain TV pictures from the 1920s. But rather frustratingly, although Baird invented a machine that could record TV pictures, he never managed to make one that could play them back again. So the mind-boggling challenge for anyone wanting to discover a unique piece of TV history was, if you want to see the video, you have to design a machine to play it. Building just such a machine became a personal quest for computer specialist Don McLean. This looks like a, a normal 78. This is the um, recording from 1928. It says Beard Phonovision record on it uh, with the date clearly marked. So let me get this right. What we're listening to is the sound of pictures. Although it looks like a normal 78, what's actually recorded on the disc is um, a vision signal. The records show that he actually uh, uh, took the discs and played them back as an audio signal. So you'd hear the sound of the video, uh, and he would talk over it and describe roughly what was going on in the scene. That's right. Baird played this strange noise to an audience and described what the pictures would be like. Nobody can be certain precisely how Baird recorded phonovision discs, but his studio setup must have looked something like this. Using his contraption, he video recorded his secretary, making her into the first star of the video age. Don spent months studying Baird's system, using his considerable computer skills to try and decode the recordings. When he eventually broke the code, Don became the first person to see those tantalizing pictures of Baird's secretary. And here she is. But of course, this image was just a test picture in a studio. You still couldn't record a real program off air. Believe it or not, some people actually try to record programs at home, even though they could never play the pictures back. I wonder what they made of it. You're listening to the pictures of the future, my dear. Ooh, fancy that. Ooh, fancy that. Oh, fancy that. I've never heard the How much did you uh, pay for rubbish. this seat? I prefer to see dancing girls in the flesh. But it was believed all of those early recordings were lost. Until this year, in June, a disc recorded on at home was accidentally discovered in a record company vaults. It's the world's oldest video recording of a TV program. It featured the dancing girls of the Paramount Astoria troupe and was televised in 1933. A triumph for Don. When you see the pictures, it is quite astonishing to, to come across such material and to be able to restore the pictures. It was like a ghost floating in space. Gosh, these really are the first recordings. These are the first recordings of television. Now, the pictures Don McLean reclaimed will be on display at the Bradford Museum of Film, Photography and Television from next month. And the glorious history and fascinating future of television will be the subject of a special edition of Horizon at ten past eight this Saturday on BBC Two. Now, familiar with his.